Hey folks, we are back at the Shack News booth at PAX 2018, here at PAX East 2018. I have Sam from Rising Star Games here to Hello. talk about Trailblazers. You know, I'm a crazy F-Zero fan, and I've been deprived for over a decade. And I heard about your game. We've got you covered. We've got you covered. And we actually, uh, I sent one of my writers out in San Francisco to a hands-on event. He came back, it's like, it's kind of like Splatoon meets F-Zero. I'm like, you had me at F-Zero and you had me at Splatoon. That would be a very accurate comparison, yes. So let's try this out. We're going to be playing it. We can talk about while we play it, yep. right? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so the top line concept is that it's a 3v3 racer. It's a team racing game. It's kind of the first of its kind. Because I know you're thinking, you know, there's so many racing games with team mechanics, but really, let's, let's just face it, it's kind of like all their ranking positions added up. It's not really built as a team racing game That's like right. Trailblazers. So this is more about um, getting points throughout the race. So we're going to get marked on three different criteria, which is essentially where we place in the race first, but then also uh, how much we paint and how much we boost. So, oh, boost is one? Yeah. So you're going to boost automatically over your team's colors. So essentially, you go around the track, you paint it your team's color, your team are behind you, they're boosting, they're like racking up combo points, and uh, the other team are trying to do the same thing. So, uh, A is going to be paint, that's going to drop paint behind us, that's an, effi like a, an efficient way to paint. Uh, y is going to shoot it out in front of us. Oh, and right trigger to go. Just throw that in there before we start. I'm on the bottom screen, you're on the top. That's right, that's right. So we're going to be hitting A to try and leave our So if I'm driving trails. in your paint line, does that slow me down? No, that's going to increase your speed. Okay. Oh. So on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see our combos. Oh, and we're on the same team. We are on the same team. So it's like, oh, you blaze the trail. I put you against me. I've been playing this for four days straight. I see. So yeah, we're going to be racking up points by both painting and boosting on our colors. So if you collide with something, or an enemy team member shoots their paint in front of them and it spins you out, you're gonna lose all the points you've been racking up in that combo. So, so do you, you, the way to recharge your paint is to drive over the paint? No, it's to be patient. It just so, comes back? <laughs> over time, yeah, over time it will recharge. And these, uh, those archways? Yeah, so they're paint gates. The way they work is uh, you drive through They shoot through paint in front of you? you oh, okay, so it's like it's a, kind of like a boost mechanic. Yeah, and uh, those paint gates are a one-time use, so it's kind of like a reward for the team who's ahead to get okay. some extra. Oh my word, I... Right. So that's how you stay out in front. Exactly, yeah. Got because it. Because there's, it's probably the first racing game where there's advantages to being toward the back, because you can then clean up and uh, paint over all of your enemy lines, or all of the enemy's lines. Got so it. as we're going around, at the bottom uh, of our window. So how long has this game been in development? Uh, about two years. Okay. Full time. Uh, so Supergonk are the developers from the UK. And, uh, they're probably working hard right now. They're probably working right now on it. Probably. Yeah. Oh no, I just slammed. And so we're playing the uh, flagship 3v3 mode at the moment. There's also 2v2v2, which is the partner battles. There's an all v all mode. And there's also time trials, where it's just three people on the track and they're all working together. Almost crashed there, but didn't. And uh, that one's a lot of fun because you don't have any competition of where you're painting. So basically, after the first couple laps, the whole track is just your colored paint. And it's a uh, competition and, uh, that you can What engine crash. is this running on? This is running on Unity, actually. Oh, cool. So all the games we brought us. Did they year. have to create any special tools for this, or? Uh, yeah, but I don't know. I'm not I'm I know, not you're not exactly guy. dev. I'm uh, sorry. But uh, yeah, Unity have been really impressed with the way it looks. Uh, this has been produced by a three-man team, would you believe it? Wow. Uh, so yeah, they've been incredibly impressed with how it's turned out. And it's coming out next month, right? That's right. Next month, all major platforms, Xbox, PS4, Steam, and Switch. Very cool. Awesome. Wait, did you say Switch? I did say Switch. That's been a, like a platform favorite the whole show. Everyone is so excited to have it there. And it's so, just, you know, because right now on Switch, it's like, here, have Mario Kart. Yeah, and nothing but else. Mario Kart's not this fast-paced. No. Wow, you really wrecked me. I was I was trying to take a chill as well. No, I, I slammed too many times. And so the longer you boost on your team's color as well, the more stages of boost you're going to unlock. So you're going to start at one, two, three, and then max. 
and that's where things get uh, really blindingly quick. Whoops. So this score screen is quite interesting. We've got uh, basically our race position, but then also our paint and our uh, boosting combo points, and we won. All thanks cool. to you, as if. You carried us, man, thanks. That was you. Oh, stop. I'm guest one. <laughs> oh, I, I see. I, I rode your coattails. <laughs> My paint trails. Yeah, your paint trails, <laughs> sorry. So Super Gonk, Super Gonk is making this game. Yep. Had they made anything before this? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> There's my answer to that. I think this is their first kind of like all game working as a three combination. Is there a drift turn mechanic? Yes, I forgot to tell you about that. So that's on your left trigger. So it's like a handbrake and that's just kind of, you want to tap it, just get the side out and that will handle differently on the boost as well. It will let you uh, attack those. Uh, one more race? Absolutely. It's, uh, I'm always like, give me a little, I just need a little more taste of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hadn't gotten to play it. Well, why don't you come to the stand after this and we can uh, do oh, some Oh man, more I wish I could. I'm, I, they basically chained me to this chair until the show's <laughs> over. <laughs> okay. I'm the last guy who has a voice left on our staff. I so see, I see. I'm conducting all the, oh, this is a cool looking level. Yep, so 10 maps, each map can be played forwards, backwards, mirrored, and mirrored backwards. So there's a lot of variety there. Oh, cool. I love, wow, they really are inspired by F-Zero. Yep. Oops. Oh, concept of mirror. Ah. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a tight right hand turn there. Okay. Oh, Stop hitting me, dude. Is that me? Yeah. <laughs> so a uh, local multiplayer, it can support up to four on uh, one machine, but then you can also connect online up to six. And you can mix that, mix and match that as well. So you and I could be couch co-op, and then we can uh, oh, enter the awesome. wider realm. This feels really good. Woo. Controls are nice. I'm just, it's a little bit of a learning curve, but yeah. that's what every racing game is. Yeah, exactly. It's all about repetition. That's why you, racers have such replay value. Exactly. I'm really hoping this extra layer of strategy uh, kind There's of adds definitely to that. a meta to this with the paint, laying down the paint trails, the team mechanic, it's all yeah. very cool. And something I didn't mention earlier was that uh, each of the eight races have their own unique attributes. And so that's going to be how much they can paint between, before they need to recharge. Also, their uh, max boost speed and their handling as well. So it's going to be interesting to see if their kind of role composition comes out of whether you need. A certain guy to be laying down the paint and someone to be chasing the uh, finish line. Got it. When you drive over your opponent's paint trail, does that slow you down? Nope. Okay. But it means you're not boosting and you're not painting, so you're but if not is, getting if you're, the, if you're the player that's ahead, you want to lay down the paint trail for your buddy. Exactly. And you want to be covering up the, uh, the enemy team's paint trails as well. Yeah, that way they can't boost. Got it. So what I'm going to do here is try and spin out there. Uh, traditional races are three laps? Yep, so this is four by default, but uh, that will change. If you're playing online, it will kind of like random pick a map, random pick the laps to try and keep it uh, fresh every Very time. Very cool. So that also kind of uh, changes the strategy in terms of whether you're going to be efficiently laying paint behind you or just trying to go for the... This level is line. very F-Zero inspired. Those 90 degree turns. Yeah, they're quite hard to see as well on uh, the split screen. Yeah. On the laptop. Well, like I said, it's all about just knowing the level. Yep, absolutely. How are you getting on this time round? A little better, but nice. still not great. So you're playing as Sid. Uh, he's the kind of biggest painter in the game. He's got his pickup, and he can just uh, completely coat the track. But he... Uh, he has some disadvantages as well. His handling is fairly poor. He's not the not the quickest booster. But if you drive clean and you're constantly dropping up paint, that's the thing. You don't need to be the first one past the finishing line. You can be contributing to your team's points in other ways. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, <laughs> got ya. Yeah, I'm in sixth, and I just ran into that wall again. I looked up for a second, and I was like, slam. <laughs> A little bit of a left foot here.
Boom. 2.6k, it's not, uh, not super high. The bots at the moment are uh, killing it on the show floor because of their inherent ability to not crash, being computers and all. So um, as you get used to the controls, you'll be able to keep longer and longer paint combos going. But it's also a testament to that kind of risk versus reward that is on every race in Trailblazers is that you're racking up these huge combo points and you never know whether to like keep pushing it for those extra multipliers but risk losing it all. See, you did as well. You did good as well. 3.7k. I definitely did better. You painted well, a lot Sam, of tracks. Thank you so much for stopping by. No problem. Thanks for having that me. That was a blast. Awesome. Uh, this game comes out in May. In May, that's right. And that's going to be all platforms. Uh, yeah, PS4, So, wishlisted on Steam. Bookmark the eShop link. This is, I, I'm endorsing this. If you're an F-Zero fan, you're going to like this game. Awesome. Trailblazers. Check this out. Quit looking at me like that, Greg. I love me some F-Zero. Nintendo, for some reason, doesn't want to make an F-Zero, so thank you guys for actually doing yeah. something that's in that realm. We've got you, man. And We've got you still, covered. And it's a new take on it. It is, right? It makes you think, how has this not been done before? It's, it seems to fit so well together. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks for stopping by. I'm glad you guys can make it over here. No problem. Awesome. Well, we're going to be back with a couple more streams leading up to the end of this show. I'm losing my voice, but we're having a great time here, so stay tuned.